Welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is going to be the Faith Clutch by Cherishing Today Designs. And it features an accordion zip pocket on the back. And inside, I chose to do one ID slot, and then there's one card slot here, as well as three more card slots over here. And then on the other side, there are six card slots. So you get a total of 10 card slots with this design. You also have two slip pockets. I've chosen to line mine with heat transfer vinyl. I hope you find this tutorial helpful. If you do, please give it a like and I'd love it if you'd subscribe. Let's get started. So the first part that I will be working on is the ID tri card pocket. Um, I forgot to mirror mine, like I told you in the front, and like I told you in the beginning, so don't do what I do, but it, it won't really impact anything. My ID slot is just on the opposite side now. Um, so you're going to need that piece, then you're going to need your card slot fabric piece. That's landscaping fabric. You'll also need the tri-card fabric piece, which is also landscaping fabric. You'll need your clear window piece. And you'll need your ID cover piece, which is a piece of waterproof canvas for me. To start, you'll place your ID cover piece right side up, and then you'll place your clear window on top, lining up the sides as well as the bottom. So you should have some extra waterproof canvas at the top. So you'll be stitching an eighth of an inch away from the left-hand side over here. Um, because I forgot to mirror my image, I'm actually gonna be doing that along the right-hand side. So if you made that same mistake, then um, stitch along the right-hand side. If you cut it properly, you'll stitch along the left-hand side. So you should have this stitching down one side. Then you'll place double-sided tape along the side edges of the clear window. So along the left and the right side. And that'll be just on the clear window, not on the canvas. Then you will grab your tri-card pocket piece. Then you can remove the paper backing on the double-sided tape. And you can line this up. I would, I'm gonna turn mine over and line it all up here. So from the front, this is what you will see. On the back, this is what you'll have. So now I will be folding my waterproof canvas. So my ID cover piece, fold that away and clip it. Clip that out of the way. And then flip your project right side up and top stitch at an eighth of an inch around the ID window. Um, and you should only be stitching through your exterior and your clear vinyl. You shouldn't be stitching through anything else. When you approach the fold for your ID cover piece, just be sure that you're not stitching through that piece and that it is staying out of the way. And then I'm also going to pull my threads back to 
to the back real quickly. I I still like to backstitch. So what I do is I do my backstitch and then I trim my thread down, not all the way, but just a, a little bit. And then I will pull it through to the back and then I will melt them from the back. Perfect. And then I will go ahead and melt that from the back just to keep it from fraying at all. So right now, this is what you should have. And your piece is still clipped out of the way. Then you will top stitch an eighth of an inch away from the bottom of the cut line. So we will be stitching right along here. And you should still have your ID cover um, out of the way. So you should have top stitching right along here. Now you can unclip the ID cover and make sure that it lies flat behind the window. Now you will flip the project back over and you will top stitch an eighth of an inch away from the top of that bottom cut line. So we will be stitching right along here. And you should be including your ID cover window at this point. And this is what it should look like on the back. And this is what it should look like on the front. I am gonna trim this back. Um, I cut mine a little longer, I rough cut mine. So um, if you cut yours exactly to the pattern size, you will not need to trim this. But nobody will see it, so I just trimmed mine back. So now I will be placing some double-sided tape. Um, I will be doing an eighth of an inch wide double-sided tape underneath each cut line on these three on the side, as well as this one on the side we're currently working on. Then you will draw a line an inch and one eighth away from the bottom on the ID slot side. Go ahead and draw a line there. And then I'm gonna place some double-sided tape there as well. For that part, I'm going to be using quarter inch tape. Then I will remove the paper backing from the double-sided tape on the piece right underneath the card slot and place my fabric down on that. And it should be facing up towards the top of the project. So I'm gonna flip everything over and top stitch underneath. I'll top stitch underneath this top line at an eighth of an inch seam allowance. Let me top stitching right along there. Okay. 
Now you can remove the paper backing from the double-sided tape and you can fold your card slot down and press. Then you can measure a line half an inch above the top cut line. And you'll also want to place a piece of double-sided tape there as well. So now you can fold this up, remove the paper backing from your double-sided tape, and press that in place. I like to just give my card slots a test real quick. Okay. Once you're happy with the placement of your card, you can go ahead and remove that and top stitch it an eighth of an inch away from the top slot. Don't get your landscaping fabric because it will melt. But it's okay. Nobody's going to see it. It's on the back. Okay. So that side is done. Now you'll have your ID card slot, which will be enclosed when we do our final stitching around. And then one card slot. I think I said it was two earlier, um, but it is only one. So you can go ahead and turn it over. And now we're going to make some more markings on the back side for the other side here. Um, now when we work on the three card slots. So we will measure a half an inch above this cut line and place a piece of double-sided tape there. Now we will measure three eighths of an inch up from the bottom and draw a line there and then go ahead and place a piece of double-sided tape there. Now you will grab your tri-card fabric so this is going to be your longer piece of landscaping material. You'll remove the paper backing off of the bottom card slot and you'll place the landscaping fabric um, even with that tape and then it should be facing out towards the top of your project. So now you can go ahead and flip that over and top stitch an eighth of an inch away from the bottom card slot line. Now you can remove the paper backing from the double-sided tape right along the bottom and you can fold this down, make sure it's straight, and then also remove the double-sided tape backing from the second cut line and fold this back up again. I like to try my card here before I commit to top stitching and it is good. So now you will be top stitching along the top of the bottom cut as well as the bottom of the second cut, an eighth of an inch away on both of them. Now you'll flip everything back over and we're going to measure from this and we're going to measure from this bottom line here. So from here you're going to measure three eighths of an inch up and draw a line and then I'm going to place a piece of quarter inch wide double sided tape and go ahead and remove the paper backing on that and fold your card slot panels down. Remove the paper backing on the piece of tape at the top slot and fold up. And I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna test my card slot. That looks like it's good. From here, you will top stitch above the second slit as well as below the first one. And then we're going to top stitch below the first slit. And 
And now we're gonna do the same thing again. We will measure 3 eighths of an inch up from this fold that we just created. Draw a line like that, and then place a piece of quarter inch wide double-sided tape right along that line. Then you can go ahead and peel the paper backing off of the tape. You'll pull this down, making sure that it's and then you'll remove the double-sided tape from the piece that is a half an inch above the top. And fold everything up. And now you can flip it all over and you're gonna do one last top stitch above the top card slot. Now this is what you should have. And this is the back. Don't mind that extra piece of double sided tape. It's fine. Now I'm going to take everything and I will fold it in half, making sure to match up the bottom edges and clip in place. So we'll press everything down at the top and I'm gonna place some clips across the top. Once you have that, you can top stitch a eighth of an inch away from that folded seam. And this is what you should have, so it should be top stitched along there. Now we will set this to the side. Um, we will be installing a spring snap, but I will do that in a later step. Then I will be grabbing my dual tri-card pocket piece. So this is the one with the six card slots on it. I'll start by making some markings on the back here. Um, I will mark a quarter of an inch up from the bottom and draw a line, and then a half of an inch above the top cut line and draw a line there as well. So this is what you should have. So I'm going to place a piece of quarter inch wide double-sided tape underneath the top line and above the bottom line. Then I'm going to place a piece of eighth inch wide double-sided tape underneath each slit. I'm not gonna make it one piece here just cause I don't want it to be seen through the holes that we've cut. So I am going to put six separate pieces on. If that doesn't bother you, then you can go ahead and just put three really long pieces down. So right now, this is what you should have. And for this part, I'm going to give you guys a slightly different view, um, take you to the other side of the sewing machine. So in the comments down below, let me know which view you prefer. Um, but I wanted to give you guys one of each view here. So now you're going to need your dual tricard fabric, landscaping fabric. Um, this is the one that was cut on the fold, so it's nice and long. Then you'll remove the paper backing from the double-sided tape on the bottom part of your card slots, and you'll place your fabric along that double-sided tape, and it should be facing towards the top of your project. So this is what you should have right now. And I will be flipping that over and from the right side, I will be top stitching underneath the bottom card slots on both sides. And we skip over to the next one. should have this on the back and this on the front. Then you will flip it back over and we'll go ahead and remove the paper backing on the double-sided tape on the back and we're going to fold everything down. Making sure that everything stays nice and straight 
then you will go ahead and remove the double-sided tape from both center lines and you'll fold your fabric back up and then you'll flip it over and we will be top stitching right above the bottom line and below the middle line on both sides so we will be stitching here as well as here an eighth of an inch away should have that and then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna top stitch right underneath the center line going to take your ruler and a marking tool and mark three eighths of an inch up from this fold. So I'll make a line and this is three eighths of an inch from the bottom of this fold to the line that I drew. And then take your quarter inch double sided tape and place the piece right above that line that you drew. Remove the paper backing from your double sided tape and you're going to fold this down again, making sure it's taut, but don't pull too hard. And also making sure everything stays even. And then remove the double sided tape from the top two pieces and fold your fabric back up. Now we will be top stitching above the center line and below the top line. And then we're going to top stitch below the top line as well. just stop and take a minute to test my card slots make sure that everything fits the way that I want it to we have one and two I'm gonna flip everything back over and again measure three eighths of an inch from the new fold that we have and draw a line and then place a piece of quarter inch double-sided tape above that line go ahead and move the backing on that Fold your card slot material down, and then you can remove the final piece of paper from that one. And then you can peel that back and fold this one up. Now you can turn it over, and you'll go ahead and top stitch an eighth of an inch away from the top slit on both sides. Now you will take this and fold everything in half, making sure to line all the edges up well. And I'm gonna press down here 
and just gently crease the top and clip it in place. And then you're going to top stitch an eighth of an inch away along the whole top here on the folded edge, just like we did with the other piece. So let's do that now. This is what you should have. This is your completed pocket. I will be installing my spring snap right down here in the center, um, but I will do that in a later step. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is prepare my zipper. So what we will be doing is marking a line 5 eighths of an inch down on the left hand side of your zipper and folding that over just like I have here. So I've pinned that in place. I'm going to baste it down quickly. And then you can go ahead and remove the pin. That's what you should have right now. Once you have your turn on your zipper at the 5 8 inch as directed in the pattern, then you're going to go ahead and grab your back pocket panel and lay that right sides up. And then you'll align the top and left of the zipper tape right side up to the top and left of the back pocket. And I did cut my zipper much longer than um, written in the pattern. So that's just a personal preference. You'll baste that in place with an eighth of an inch seam allowance. Now you can add your zipper pull. So I will be measuring and marking an eighth of an inch away. You're going to sew the zipper closed on the mark that you just drew. Okay, so you should have this right now. And now I'm going to trim down my zipper tape. Now this is what we should have. Don't mind my rogue piece of double-sided tape. Now you will take your accordion pocket wrong side up and then with the long edges along the top and bottom, you will go ahead and fold this in half, wrong sides together, and you'll top stitch an eighth of an inch away from the folded edge. So now we will be laying the zipper tape wrong side up with the back pocket up and out of the way. So this is up and out of my way. And in her photo she has it, um, the zipper open. So I will open my zipper. You're going to measure and mark on this half of the zipper, so on your turned side. Hey, look, that rogue piece of double-sided tape is coming in handy. I'm going to measure and mark a line 3 eighths of an inch in from the bottom along the whole length of the zipper tape. You should have this. I've drawn a line 3 eighths of an inch away. And then I'm going to put some double-sided tape below that line. I'll open this back up. It might be easier. I'm always losing my scissors. I can never find them like four pairs at my machine. Do you think I could find a single pair? No, no I cannot. Now you can go ahead and remove the paper backing from your double-sided tape that you just applied and then you will take your accordion pocket 
and you're going to place the folded edge of the accordion pocket on the double-sided tape. So the right edge of the accordion pocket will extend past the zipper tape and that's okay. So I'm gonna close this just a little bit. So I'm gonna place this right along that line that we drew. And this is where we are at right now. Now I'm going to flip everything back over and I will be placing double-sided tape along both long edges here of the zipper. All right, so from this angled cutout right here, I have with an erasable tool, I'm going to measure in a quarter of an inch and make a small mark. Then I am going to place another piece of double-sided tape right here. Now I will be removing the double-sided tape, just the paper, not the tape itself. And I will go ahead and center this right along here, just keeping and making sure that I've left a quarter of an inch between the runoff on my zipper and the line that we have drawn here. And I'll show you, or the line that we have cut. Um, that's what we drew that quarter inch line for a minute ago. So taking a look at it from the back, make sure now, because we're gonna get ready to top stitch, make sure you fold this panel, the back pocket panel, so the one that we did not top stitch, fold that up and out of the way. Just check and be sure that this is, you can see your quarter inch mark, which I can, it lines up perfectly. Then you will turn it over. Again, making sure that your back pocket is out of the stitching area. And we are going to stitch starting right here and come all the way down and then turn and go down to the bottom down this line. So let's do that now. Move your zipper pull out of the way. And then we'll pivot and come down an eighth of an inch away here. So right now you should be working with this. You should have top stitching in just that area. Now you'll flip everything back over and you're gonna pull this back and you're gonna fold this part of the accordion back over on itself and clip that. All the while making sure that you keep this piece clipped away as well. Now you will measure and mark a line three quarters of an inch from the folded edge of the accordion pocket. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold it back on itself on that line. So we're gonna fold on the line that we just drew. And then I will go ahead and clip this. Then you're gonna flip everything. So unclip this part. I'm gonna reclip it like right here. So we will unclip these and we're gonna turn everything over. And we're gonna kind of be folding everything back on itself. And we'll be top stitching at an eighth of an inch away from the fold that you just created. Once you have drawn your quarter inch line, you're gonna place a piece of double-sided tape below the line. Um, so furthest away from the edge, don't, don't mind that piece. And then you'll remove the paper from that one. And you're gonna kind of fold everything back on itself and meet it up to that quarter inch line. Now I'm gonna place another piece of um, double-sided tape over that. Remove the paper backing on that one. And now go ahead and fold back your back pocket. 
against there. Check everything from the front. Make sure it all works the way you expect. And it does, there's our little accordion. And now you can close up the zipper. You can top stitch all the way around the rest of it. Um, first, I'm gonna change my bobbin though, cause it's on its last thread right here. And I am gonna open my zipper just for a few minutes here. So we're gonna come up the side here and pivot and then across the top. And then all the way back down. And then you should have this right here. So if you try this, you can open it. Um, our pocket's obviously not closed up at the bottom yet, but this is the accordion that you'll have. Right. Once you have all that, you're going to place your project right side up, and then you're going to pull back your exterior. So you're gonna be exposing just this part right here. And we're gonna get in nice and close, as close as you can your exterior without sewing through it. Don't sew through your exterior. And then you're going to close up the sides and the bottom of your zipper accordion pocket panel. Going over that zipper real well. Okay, and then making sure that you keep this folded out of the way. Close up the bottom. And then you can go ahead and trim your seam allowance down. So along the sides, again, being careful not to cut through the exterior, only cut the interior. Hold that other way if you need to. And then I'm also going to trim down the bottom just a touch. Why not? Okay. So now your accordion pocket is all complete. So you can give it a try here. So right now we have this accordion pocket. And it's perfect. Great job. We did it. We're almost there, We're almost done. Now we are going to come back to our interior pocket pieces and we need to install our snap tabs. So we have our exterior. Um, also now is the perfect time to install a bag tag. Um, so I will do that quickly before I forget because I will forget. So on the back of my bag tag, actually on the front of my tag, I will very gently without Creasing the letters, go ahead and mark the center of my tag. And then I'm gonna turn it over and apply some double-sided tape just to help it stay in place while I stitch it down. And then I'm gonna crease just to find the center of my exterior panel piece. And I'll make a mark right about here. And I'll remove the paper off of the double-sided tape and I will place my tag remove my silver marking mark and this is the placement that I have for my bag tag. So this will be the front and this will be the back. So now I'm going to stitch that down. I like to use a piece of scrap fabric to cover my bag tag when they are the nice cork or vinyl ones. My machine's walking fit will eat them if I don't. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
And then I'm gonna pull my thread back to the back. Okay. And then finish coming around this side. I probably could have done this before I put on my heat transfer vinyl and then you wouldn't see this stitching, but um, I really don't think it's a huge deal. So however you want to do it is perfectly fine. And you have your back tag. So now is when you want to decide which piece you want on which side. So I'm going to take my ID card slot and I want that one to be on what's going to be the actual back of the wallet. And then the other one is all the other card slots and I'm going to have that facing against the front of the wallet. I need to install our snaps. So I'll take these off and I'm going to find the center of my piece. Very carefully mark the center just with an erasable tool. So chalk or a silver marking pen, something you know that's going to come off. I have no idea if this is going to come off. We'll find out. All right. And then at the center, you're going to measure up five eighths of an inch and then make a little dot. And this is where we're going to install our snap. Yeah, it comes off. There you go. All right. So this is where we're going to install our snap. And then I'm going to repeat that for the other side. So I, it doesn't really matter which way you install the snaps. Um, what I'm going to do is I want, I'm going to install the male end first. So you'll need these two pieces. And I will install it on my one that's just all card slots. So I'm going to poke a hole through my material. Do not poke yourself. Be very careful. You can also use a hole punch if you wanted. And I'm going to place this piece in the bottom, just like that, and then set this on top. And then I will set it with the tools that come with the snaps. So you should have that. And now we're going to repeat with the other portion of the snap, the other side. That'll be this one, as well as this one. And I'm just using an, um, a stiletto to poke the hole. Insert the backing. And then on the top. And this time I will use this tool to set this portion. We are almost done, you guys. So now to make final construction easier, I'm going to place some double-sided tape all along here to hold everything together while I'm stitching it. And make sure to line up the edges nicely. Then I will get a piece of eighth inch wide double-sided tape and lay that down around the bottom and the edges. So this piece is ready. And now we're gonna do the same thing with this one. All right, so now all I'm going to do is remove the paper backing off of the double-sided tape. And I'm gonna start with my ID one because I want that to go against my accordion side.
So we're going to have this. And you will see your accordion pocket on the inside, but it's not a, not a big deal. And then we'll repeat for the other set of card slots, lining them up nicely. All right, so this is what you should have right now. I'm going to go around and clip it all the way around just, just to be extra sure that everything is going to stay in place. So here we go, guys. I'm going to start right back here where the accordion pocket is, um, where the zipper is not when it's closed. I, I am going to backstitch. Um, so that's just my preferred place to start. This way it's on the back side. And just take your time and go slow. I'm going to move my zipper to the other side as I top stitch around this side just so I get the best possible finish. the zipper back to the other side. I'm going to just trim that quickly. Pull this guy through. So now everything is complete. Your wallet is finished. Um, at this point, you could go ahead and you could, um, you could edge coat, but you don't have to. Um, depending on your materials, you could. So my wallet is complete. I will edge coat it at some point. 